I guess like security got involved, like Hass was talking about it. Your friend, like did you see your friend get in that fight? And I was like, I fell asleep on the plane as soon as we took off and I was asleep for all six hours. And I did not get any coffee today. <laughs> and I was leaving the airport and I was in line for Dunkin', which I don't really like. And the Uber got here before I could get Dunkin', so I had to get out of line with one person in front of me. It's now 4 p.m. I've had no coffee in almost 24 hours. <laughs> and I just saw a Starbucks as soon as I got out of the car and that is the first place I'm going. <laughs> Thank you, God. This is at our hotel, are you kidding me? This is a sign. This is the fit from Moulin Rouge. Are you kidding me? We're so close. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is right here. Ended with lots of Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, some Taco Bell. <laughs> lots. <Lot. laughs> so I'm going to bed. The show tonight was crazy. I feel like I have not seen a show like this before. And the queens were on it. They were killing it. They did like group numbers. I'm gonna stop talking because I've had too much to drink. I've had Taco Bell, Baja Blast. No, they actually had like a lot of group numbers. And three. I'm just in awe. This is crazy. Good morning, everybody. I am wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. Why? Because I got up at... Girl. What? That's gross. You were on the plane in that. Yeah, I know, but I'm not wearing it all day today. 1.45. I just got up to get my morning coffee. Why? Because I woke up at 1 p.m. Why? Because New York is unhinged. We went to, you know, Moulin Rouge last night, but after that we went to a drag show. Drag shows here start at midnight. It was midnight. It was a Thursday. And the show started at midnight. To their credit, every drag show start time is usually like 30 minutes after the real start time. And they started like five minutes after midnight. So thank them for that. But the show went on to like 1.30 a.m. By that point, I am drunk. I didn't drink during Moulin Rouge because I wanted to be like composed when I was saying hi to Joe after. And so then I like caught up. That's why I got up so late. I've been so good. I've been like eating fresh. I've been eating lots of protein. And so last night I just had lots to talk about. And it was amazing. And here I am. Moulin Rouge was, I forgot how great Broadway is. I just, my, my, my jaw was on the floor the whole time. I was like a kid at like the circus for the first time. All the performers were exceptional. The, the, the singing, not a note missed. It was fantastic. And then to see Joe, like she like drops down, kind of like Britney did in the circus tour and like this swing and just like appears. I had never seen Moulin Rouge before. I had not seen the movie. I didn't know what to expect. And it was just magnificent. Joe was so good. Her acting was amazing. I didn't realize it was like her 10th show that she's done. 
because she only started like last week. It was such a treat to be able to see her. It was really cool that she made time for us to like come backstage after. When we were like waiting, like the stage door where all the fans were lining up, I was like, we were in front of the barricade. Someone took a picture of me. They were like, oh, hey, like you're the fitness marshal. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, can I get a photo? And I was like, of course. And they were like, okay, stand there and I'll take a picture. And I was like, you don't want a picture with me? And he was like, no, I want a picture of you to send to my friends. And I was like, okay. It was weird. And so there's all these people like behind the barricades screaming after everyone comes out the door. Like, no matter who you are, you're gonna get a cheer. And just like cheers erupted. And it's like, we're not in the show. That's why I just like put my head down. I felt so stupid. But then there were a few people who yelled like fitness marshal as I was walking out. And there was um, one girl who was so sweet. I think her name, I believe her name was Selena. And she took a picture with me and she was so kind and she had me sign her water bottle. Now, I've been getting recognized, I feel like more often in public and it's so, so cool. And I said this, I think in the Hawaii vlog, but I just love remembering that there are real people out there who do the videos and who have a, a personal connection to what I do. It is the coolest, coolest thing. So thank you for saying hi. The Starbucks reserve, bitch. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I had the espresso martini with the olive oil in it. But man, that roastery reserve was so cool. They had, the food was great. I'm just accepting that Cameron doesn't like me in hats and I'm gonna wear them. Dan's gonna take us to a sports bar today. Oh, Dan's gay, but he's like apparently one of the highest ranked soccer coaches. He's a big deal, the point is, in soccer. And I just like choose to try to ignore that because I don't understand that world. But I'm happy for him. And so I'm gonna go support his Arsenal team or something. All right, to the sports bar. Woo! Here's the sports bar. Here's the sporty spice leading the way. Oh, no, that's not a, that's a bakery. <laughs> this is a sports bar. Oh gosh. All right. I can do this. The score is gonna be? Yeah. Three and two. Two. Which team? The, em the Emirates. Mm. So close. So <laughs> Cheers to Arsenal. Cheers. May the, may the Arsenal. balls fly in the goals. Yes. Dan's team lost, very sad. It was what, 3-1? Well, 3-1, we left early. So sorry, buddy. But we're going to Starbucks Reserve, which I'm very excited about. Oh my gosh, this Starbucks is huge. Current score, is that final? Yeah, that's final now. So now they shoot out? No, it's just a draw. Oh. Never leave early, folks, never leave Damn. early. Damn, wow. Oh, also, this is not a Starbucks reserve, and they were also out of nitro cold brew. <laughs> so, <laughs> me. So I have decided, because I've had so many friends tell me I have to play Breath of the Wild, the Zelda game. I only like play Pokemon and Mario, and I've never really done like Zelda, but there's a new Zelda game coming out, and my friends swear, Ryan Parma, I have to play Breath of the Wild before I play Tears of the Kingdom. So there was like a Nintendo store five minutes from the hotel, so I'm going there. But I'm really excited actually. Ooh, they have a Kirby game? All right, let's go. Oh my God, Mario shoes. I'm trying to find a cat peach for Haley's new cat and I cannot find one. Oh, that tuna tartare looks good. Chicken liver. Oh, surprise, surprise. Caleb is drunk in a vlog. We had two drinks at dinner, and I was late, and so I had to drink my second one very hard. What? What? Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Um, so now we're gonna go see Some Like It Hot, which is, I don't know what it's about, but we're seeing it and I'm excited. So tomorrow we're gonna see our friends Sam and Jared, who I've never met in person, but I have followed on like social media for a long time. Sam is was so sweet when we did the live, um, but they seem just so lovely and wonderful. So I can't wait to like meet them in person. Um, we're gonna see Titanic tomorrow. And then after, I don't know what we're gonna do. Look at that. Outfit day three. 
matching Cameron like I do every single day. So today we're gonna go see my friend Jordan Berry who I went to high school with and haven't seen in probably like four years actually. She almost went on tour with us in 2017 when we did our Australia tour, but now she works at Barstool Sports she is a big deal in New York City, and we're gonna catch up. And also, I get to meet her dog, which I'm so excited about. All right, lunch. We have hand rolls, crab, salmon toro, bluefin, eel. This is so trippy, what? What an epic, epic thing, wow. dogs are giving me so much light. They are so rich and they know it. She'll look at you. Hi, Andy. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Hello, Georgia Parks. Oh my God, I cannot. Also, this is Jordan, everybody. Hello. Hi. Which I'm sure if you've watched this vlog since 2017, uh, you remember Jordan from a New Year's party. <laughs> <laughs> Comment if you recognize this location. Hint, hint, it's from Gossip Girl. Hello. Hello, Mr. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, Wait, you're so big, buddy. Are those your kids? Cameron's dying to go and get a tabby bag at the coach store. I don't know what that means, but I love my coach bag. <laughs> Outfit for Titanic. All right, we're on our way to the Starbucks Reserve, and then we are going to Titanic. Oh, it's Glenda. <laughs> Dan just saw Wicked by himself, so. I'm not so okay. <laughs> Tell me that's okay. It's okay, and it was the eighth time he's seen it, and he's still crying. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> In my little heels, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. Oh god. Holy god. Back at the Starbucks Reserve Bar. Oh my gosh. We're here with Jared. We're here with Sam. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. We are about to, actually we're leaving today. So we're gonna go to Soho House with Dan because um, he has a membership, we do not, and get brunch. And then we're going to hop on the plane and fly for six hours back home. And I'm gonna play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the whole time. Also, Starbucks was out of Nitro Cold Brew on the last day, which is so sad. So we just found a new Starbucks roastery, and this is crazy. You guys, look at this. This is massive. This is so cool. So this is the Cortado. That's fascinating. We are officially heading home. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Hello. We're home from New York. So Titanic, I didn't get to tell you about it. I cannot remember the last time I've laughed that hard. I was cackling from beginning to end. It was a small theater. It's like off-Broadway right now. I guess it's been going on for like seven years they've been doing this show. And I guess <laughs> I didn't know the director was sitting right behind us. And so Dan, um, my friend who was sitting next to us, I guess, I guess the director was like, 
hey, like, is that your friend? And Dan's like, who? And he was like, the guy in the white shirt who's laughing. <laughs> and it was me. And he was like, he seems like he's having a great time. I guess there was like another couple behind the director who was like singing along during the show. And he was like telling them to shut up. And so he was telling Dan, he was like, yeah, like I don't like it when people are like singing and being disruptive in the show, but like people like your friend over there, like I love like that kind of disruption because he's just enjoying the show. And I can't control it. Like it's not a bit, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm embarrassed every time I do it. <sighs> but it was just the gayest show. And there were so many niche gay jokes that like you often don't see in like a major production. And it just felt like I felt so seen. I felt like it was made for me and the whole audience like getting all of these niche jokes. It was just the most special experience. I had the best time. If you can see it, Titanic bitch. Ah, so good. Also, I met with a girl who played Rose and she was a fan. She like knew who I was. She said, Fitness Marshall. And she was so sweet. So we took a photo together after the show, met up with the director. There was actually tea. The people that were like singing behind the director, he like turned around and he was like, hey, can you guys be quiet? And they threw out the F word. And they were like, it was a straight man who called the director an F word. And so Dan got up he like starts like talking to him, trying to like de-escalate the situation. Like he's like, you can't say that word like you're in a theater full of gays. Like why would you throw out that slur here? Security got involved, like everyone, I, I left, I didn't see this happen, but I guess like everyone was noticing and it was like a whole big thing. Like the cast was talking about it. It was like a big situation. I just get so scary because after the show, people kept coming up to me and being like, your friend, like did you see your friend get in that fight? It turns out he was being a hero and stepping in and like, sticking up for the director who got called the F word. So it was just a whole cluster, but we got to hang out with the cast at the end. We got to hang out with our friends, Jared and Sam, who were so wonderful, but they are just as sweet and wonderful in person as they are online. So it was, it was just so fun. Overall, this was the most fun I've ever had in New York. I immersed myself in the shows. I got to just like walk around through the city. And it was also nice um, because I've never been there when I could really afford to be there and eat well and go see shows. Like it, this was a night and day experience from any other New York trip I've had. I still could never, and bless you if you live in the city, I could never be a New Yorker. <laughs> Y'all move too fast for me. I need space, I need to breathe. I live in LA, so I guess I don't need clean, but I like the idea of having um, a place that's a little bit cleaner. But I did experience the magic, I think, of New York. and the hustle and bustle and just like finding fun little like hole in the wall places that you, I get it and I appreciate it, but like I am happy to have left. But I will say, I no longer hate New York and I have never said that, that's a big deal. Do I love New York? I don't know yet, but I really liked it. I had a good time. And if you're not already, please subscribe to this channel, like this video and um, have a good day. Have a good day, you deserve it.